Okay, I finally cracked the uh, printing of the uh, of the drive belts. I've had put quite a large brim. That's about seven or eight um, rings on that one. So I'm, I'm obviously going to have to cut that uh, cut that off. But uh, at least it's stuck to the bed because um, that was the that was the attempt before, and then get to a certain length it gets flying off the bed. So as you see there's quite a bit of, uh, it's difficult to see because it's black this stuff but I've printed two so far and there's a, a third one I think about a success, yeah that's printing all right, looks like it is. I've had a few, um, um, I've, I found it's not that easy to print with the uh, with the flex but um, I found once I've got uh, it to before each print, I've, I've reheated the nozzle and, and made sure I've got a flow of, uh, of um, plastic through the nozzle because it was slightly well. It wasn't clogging, but it wasn't it wasn't going through properly. I think once um, if you just started it from um, you know from cold, it, it bundled up inside the the drive. So I just pulled it out and put it back in again. But I've, I've sort of got a technique anyway. Um, I was looking for a different a few different methods of printing uh, flex on the internet. So I've I've slowed down. Um, this is using Simplify 3D, which is uh, my new program I've got recently. I'm still getting my head around it, but it seems really good. Um, so I've I've. Um, slow down the printing speed I've stopped um, there's no attraction I've added the large brim um, I've cooled the the heat bed down a bit this is the the, the beds running at 50 degrees and the print head is running at the nozzles running at 230 on this machine with this uh, uh, with this um, flex which I think is technology warehouse stuff I think um, yeah, I think it is. I can't quite remember where I got it from. I'll have to look up the box, but uh, which seems fine. Uh, once I've just uh, you know, worked out how to use it. And, and these prints are really nice. I mean, the quality is, if you can see it, it's in black, it's a bit difficult, but the quality of that has come out really well. Because um, I printed this before for the InMove, uh, some InMove um, flexible hand I did, uh, which, which was not that successful, but uh, this is definitely, um, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to put this on the um, on the motor and try that out. I've just got, obviously I've just got to cut the, uh, the, the brim off that. Uh, and I'm also making um, the idler wheels as well, so uh, I'll get on with that and um, I'll show you how I do it later. Okay, here's an update. Uh, I've got two of the drive belts on there. Um, Basically, that I just trimmed off that uh, broom on the top. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping they'll stay in. They look like they might roll off the the pulleys, but uh, we'll know in a minute. So I'll put the uh, might just because this is slightly um, it's not straight up at the moment. So I'll put this side back on again, power it up, and see what happens. Okay, here we go. I've I've uh, put the side back on again. We've got the uh, idler wheels there. Uh, and this is now powered, so the belt seems to stay on really well. I haven't got the, uh, um, the bolts here, I haven't got any washers on this bolt at the moment, so I think that's probably what that noise is. But it's, run it's running fine. And as I say, the belts stay on perfectly. I don't know what the torque is. Well, I haven't really got any uh, power on this thing, so let's just turn the current up a bit. Yeah, there's a fair amount. I mean, that's only running really at 5 volts. Yeah, that does it. There's quite a bit of torque on there, actually. That's not easy to slow down. So, as I say, this is only running off my bench power supply. If, if that was 20, uh, 20 
24 volts, I think it's a maximum on that. Um, I can't see that having any problem. So I'm just printing the final uh, 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 one of the belts for the other side, and then I'm going to print a tyre. Uh, see how that one goes. That's the um, centre wheel. So that's all done. And so I've built both of those. Both of those assemblies done. Because I was waiting on the small little bars and they just arrived uh, this morning. I've got the rest of the bits for the other other uh, foot drive, but uh, I've ordered another motor uh, and some more nuts and bolts because I've run out of the right sizes and stuff. So once they come in, uh, I can assemble that. This is, um, as I said, that's PTG. That's, uh, uh, this is just PLA. These are nylon and uh, those are the flexi, uh, it's, not, it's not actually Ninja Flex, but it's all Ninja Flex equivalent. So there's uh, quite a few different uh, types of plastic involved in there. I've got, uh, I've just put another bolt through there. I might actually change that and actually put another bolt on it on the end, just so that doesn't come undone. But these ones, uh, which I did the same, um, that's, it's quite a good grip on those on there, so I can't really imagine they came out. Well, I'm rather pleased with that. It's not fully bolted together. So uh, that's where we are at the moment. Just have a quick look at the, the centre wheel um, and how the offset goes. So those pieces, if you can see the drawing there, are effectively A and B, A and B, and then it's a C and a B, A and a B because you want the, uh, whichever one it is in the middle, which I think is that one, uh, just out of. out of sync with the other one so you can see you'll never get any, any mo you'll never get a, a moment when it doesn't, uh, you haven't got a wheel touching the ground basically, a wheel touching the ground, which is why you put the offset in. It doesn't really matter where you put it, as long as you put it in one of those. So, um, as I said, that's, uh, I was just trying different paint finishes. Um, you won't see this, but uh, it's a good, good, good um, place to test out some paints. So I've just fitted the, uh, the wheels onto the uh, centre foot there. So that bolted in through the middle there. You can see the bolts there. And I find a specific length of bolt. Actually, I suppose you can pack them out with washers, but uh, it's, uh, there's not much um, distance beneath the, the nut inside to get the, the right length of bolts. So I just had to play around with a few different uh, bolt lengths. But as, you could pack it out with washers. But um, so, so that's... Uh, as you can see, that spins really well. So it's, uh, I think that's quite a success, that. Because it'll, it'll move both ways. So that's that foot. Um, you've seen the this foot here, and I'm now printing, just on the print, you can't see it because it's in black, but I'm actually printing a, uh, a Ninja Flex or a Ninja Flex equivalent um, tyre to go on to go onto the um, onto the wheel hub. So uh, that'll be uh, completed soon, and once I get another one of these, I can put the other um, other wheel together, and I'll have a left and a right. Okay, so I've just tried the uh, the whole assembly inside the inside the shell, uh, which I was slightly confused actually because um, this is this is as far as I understand the left shell, but this is the right uh, assembly. <laughs> so I think I don't, I don't know, but uh, this is certainly the one it fits in because you've got the slot there to take that, uh, and this is how it looks on the on the drawing. So uh, as I say, I thought that was the I thought this. Because I've got two shells, if you see what I mean, and I, I, I thought that's the right-hand shell, but uh, whatever. 
Um, I haven't screwed it in. I'm not quite sure how to screw it in because you've got the screws inside there. You can just see them and inside the back. But I'll look at yeah, you can see them in there. I'll look at that later. Um, what you do, and I, I saw what Michael mentioned actually, is the screw heads. You can just see them in there. Yeah, there you can. Yeah, um, slightly foul or could foul the uh, the side here. So I've used these these flat head. Um, screws in there uh, which seems to avoid the problem but uh, that, that that does fit went in quite easily actually I believe it's that way around I have seen discussion about uh, on the 3d printer thing about if, if this should be at the front and you know t turning it around so it's obviously a uh, um, debate going on but I believe this is the, the way it should be so if we obviously hasn't got the tire on there at the moment well, it's not bothered to do but again that's just that's on the back wheel only so that, that seems to work pretty heavy so is this assembly. Sorry if you can see that, I'll just pan back. This this whole assembly is pretty heavy as well, so uh, I don't think there's going to be any uh, strength issues. I've ordered some more bolts, as I said, to just get this, this whole thing to uh, bolt together a bit better. It, it It's a tight fit. Sorry, I'll pan back down again. This is a tight fit to get in there because um, this just slots in in that extra bit, that, that slot out there. Sort of got to bend it out a little bit, which is a little bit worrying. There it goes. Oh, there's a method to get it in anyway, and slide it in like that. So these got to be as flat as possible on those sides. Uh, I've got a whole new bolt assembly on that one, but that doesn't foul actually, that's fine. So I think that's the way, oh it goes in, yeah it goes in like that, just slides in. There it goes. Got to look how the bottom bolts, turn that back in again. Ah, yeah in fact it's obvious, that will take the uh, captive nuts in there. So we're getting there with that, uh, well definitely getting there with all these assemblies and uh, I've got the uh, tar printing on there which I might get done today, I doubt it, but uh, if I can get that on there. Um, then I've just got to get some more bolts and put it together properly. The other motor's arriving so I can get the other one together. I've got the, the legs are ready. So once I've got all this in place, I could actually mount the whole thing together and actually stand him up with, with feet in place, but we'll look at that later.